This is something a lot of people aren't talking about and they aren't thinking about. When we talk about the very, very severe housing shortage in the United States, and it is very severe and looks like it will continue for many, many years, maybe for almost three decades, we shall see. But suffice it to say the housing shortage is a significant problem for the country, for society, but at the same time, it's a huge opportunity for real estate investors. So one of the things they're talking about is how there is a housing shortage, you know, whether it's 2 million homes, 3 million homes, or 5 million homes, or 5.5 million homes, as some say. Let's not debate that. We've got a shortage. But what they aren't talking about is the obsolescence factor. And you look at the housing stock, and a lot of it is aging quite a bit. And it's unhealthy. It's unhealthy for the occupants of those properties. So this news item, I just clipped it for you. It says, the other housing crisis. Too many sick aging homes. Not sick aging people, sick aging homes. An aging U.S. housing stock poses health risk to residents as much needed repairs fall behind and the effects of climate change take a toll. So a lot of these houses that people are living in are obsolete. They need to be torn down or remodeled and rebuilt. They have mold issues. They have all sorts of issues. And this is not accounted for when people talk about the housing shortage. They're simply looking at the demand, whether it be current demand or shadow demand, which we've explored that quite a bit. They talk about that, and then they look at the supply of housing, and they project this scenario forward, right? And they look at what's the future look like. Well, the future looks like we're going to have a housing shortage for quite a while, but they're not considering the aging housing stock that needs to be replaced that makes this housing shortage much, much more severe, much, much more acute. So that means good things for real estate investors, for the people that own the limited supply of these housing assets. They've got a very good future. Okay, now demographics. We've talked about this many times before on the show, but I had an economist on yesterday. We'll be publishing this interview in the next couple of weeks. This was a Freddie Mac economist. And they, of course, have a giant research arm with many economists. They're always looking at the mortgage market and the housing market. And he shared this chart, which I thought was really, really interesting. And it is housing demand robust on favorable age demographics. Okay, now you look at the household formation, you look at the age of the population, it's very simple to do this analysis. Not complicated and really not much room for argument either because we know that every person who is 30 years old today will be 31 years old next year. (laughs) Right. That's pretty simple math to do. It's just not complicated. And you've got the millennials at their peak housing formation years, right? And they're either at or near that point. And so you see on this chart, if you're watching on video, that this demand is very, very significant. And Gen Z coming up right after them not a big dip. Now you see my generation, if you look forward on this chart, you see these Gen Xers and you see why there were some dips, right? But then you look beyond that, you look at the baby boomers and you look at the median age of the repeat home buyer, right? And that is 55 years old. So again, all of these demographics coming at the housing market are so strong. They are just excellent, excellent demographics. So put yourself on the right side of this equation. That's the advice. That's the thing. Another article just today in the Wall Street Journal, home prices hit a fresh record high in September. 
So again, these statistics lag. So, you know, when you look at real estate numbers, unless you're looking at MLS data, you're always looking about two months behind. So now they're looking at September and you see that home prices a couple of months ago hit a new record high when everybody thought the crash is coming. The crash is here. It's going to be so severe and so bad. They were all just wrong, wrong, wrong. And I was right, right, right. So I hope you're going to keep listening to me because <laughs> I've been pretty good about these predictions over uh, many, many years of doing this. And you can always go back and listen to my old episodes to just see how right my predictions were. If you want to eliminate property management hassles, if you want to get much, much larger deposits from your tenants, you have got to join our Fire Your Managers program. Go to fireyourmanagers.com, learn how you can get higher quality tenants with much, much larger deposits. We're doing this with one of my personal properties right now, a property that I own, and we have got a chat going. One of our students is in there. He's learning a ton of stuff. He's been on the show before many years ago, been a client for uh, quite a while. And this is just a phenomenal opportunity to really have a much more profitable real estate portfolio and a much easier experience as an income property investor. So go check out fireyourmanagers.com and join us for that. Also, our Empowered Investor Pro meeting is coming up. Remember, it's the first Tuesday of every month where we meet on Zoom for almost two hours. Some of those meetings are two hours and we go over all kinds of stuff. I'm really excited this time because we are going to talk about this new insurance program where you can get very, very inexpensive, like you won't believe how cheap it is, insurance to cover tenant damage to your properties. You know, mostly, unless this is severe, where it, you know, could be considered like an act of vandalism, you can't insure this too well. But we have a new program and you're going to love it. So join Empowered Investor Pro. Join us every month on Zoom. Join our community and get big discounts on all of our other stuff. Like, for example, our Empowered Investor Cruise coming up in several months. Pro members get $500 off that cruise. So your pro membership will pay for itself just on participating in our events probably but of course you're going to make a lot more money you're going to save a lot more money your portfolio is going to perform better joining empowered investor pro so for that go to empoweredinvestor.com and join us on our monthly zoom meetings 